Hello guys, and welcome to another NES and SNES Showcase video, and finally, finally they added Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings. Too bad we didn't get Mother 3 like always, but I'm so glad that this game is finally on the Switch, even though it's on the weird service and everything with Switch Online. It's not a part of the expansion pack, thankfully, but I'm glad we finally have Earthbound on the Switch. I'm glad these games aren't forgotten about. I'm glad Nintendo just didn't skip it over for the Switch era. A lot of people are going to be able to play these games now. Like, I think there's a lot of... Since it's a part of the base Nintendo Switch Online with no extra cost, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be able to play this game. And I'm glad it's not that weird mock-up thing that I made a while ago. Okay. So I already created a file before, so I didn't have to go through the name thing and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. But this game is amazing. It's one of my favorite games of all time and one of my favorite RPGs other than Paper Mario. I was actually kind of like... Addicted to Earthbound last year when I played it on the Wii U. I also have Earthbound Beginnings too, but I'm fine with owning them on the Wii U because at least I have the um, versions that are actually um, permanent. Oh. But like, I feel like this game still holds up today even though there's a lot of um, archaic design choices. Like, I mean, those could easily be bypassed by the, um, save state service that they have. Like, even though I don't really like save states that much, I think it's fine to use them if, like, a game kind of has some, like, really archaic mechanics. But it, yeah, it looks really good on the Switch and everything. I don't think the... I'm not sure if the, um, Wii U had the weird filter or anything, but, um... I'm kind of glad that they didn't do some, like, weird limited time release thing. But just overall, I, I just really like this game, and, like, it, it's... Kind of weird how they released it out of nowhere. I mean, I feel like Nintendo might have seen the people who've been asking for it a lot. Well, me. <laughs> I asked for it a lot um, on Twitter and everything. And it, I'm not sure why it took so long. Maybe because they were treating it as a special release. But I'm glad they didn't do something, like, really stupid. Like, put it on the expansion pack or do, like, some kind of separate thing. I mean, like, it would have been nice if we got, like, a separate release. But I, I feel like some people... Um, I don't think everyone would, um, really react to that well. So overall, I think it looks nice on the Switch. Like, I feel like the, um, like, just the graphics, even though, like, it's obviously, like, an older game, I feel like the graphics hold up really, or, like, I guess the, the pixel, the pixel art holds up really well, and the sprites are really good. Oh, there's Porky, or Pokey, in the um, North American version, or I guess this version too, so. Honestly, I really like the, um, the character, like, since he, he actually ends up becoming, like, a villain and everything, and it's really interesting, the story of this game is really good, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the NES library, to check out Earthbound Beginnings. Okay, so I'm now on the NES library, and they also added Earthbound Beginnings, which is really nice. Unfortunately, still no Mother 3, but, um, that's, it's really interesting how they have, like, a localized box art here. Like, I mean, I think it's alright, like, just because they, they just have Nintendo on the cover and everything. Um, I feel like they could have been a little more creative, but it is nice to see like a brand new box art. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out. But 
it's really nice to have this game on here too and um i'm usually against using save states but i feel like in this game they're kind of fine because this game's pretty archaic it's good but it's like there's like some issues with it and everything as like a lot of games from this era had but um but overall, it's really nice to see this game on here. I actually haven't played this game before. I got it on the Wii U, but I was going to play it another time. But I guess I'm going to play it on here now. But the, um, the battle system on Mother 1 looks a lot more reminiscent of older games, like around, like, specifically, like, older Dragon Quest games. But I would say this is definitely one of the more, um, ambitious RPGs on the NES. But yeah, it's really nice to see this game on here too, along with Earthbound. I'm glad they didn't just do Earthbound, but they also put this game on here too. And they definitely both look a lot better than they did on the Wii U, because it doesn't really have that dark filter anymore. I'm not sure, um, I haven't really played, um, that many NES and SNES games on the Wii U, but I know it does look better on the Switch. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.